So I was saying last um, early this week with everybody reacting, Juvenile, Nicki Minaj, um, Cam, everybody, you know, going in on Jay-Z and everything. I was like, man, does Lil Wayne even care as much as you guys? But Wayne has now broken his silence. It took him a week. Uh, but yeah, this is Lil Wayne's response. Uh, Lil Wayne I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown and for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And, um, so I heard, I heard a whole lot. Um, but okay, so you hear it. The word of the day is entitlement. He felt entitled that that was going to be his spot. And there was a podcast clip floating around a couple of days ago about Wayne saying that he wanted to be uh, performing now that Jay-Z's in charge and hip-hop artists are getting a chance. He wants to be, in, you know, he wanted that spot. So that's what he's saying. He wanted the, the entitlement to just to think that you were going to get that spot just because it's in your city when you know this is not a geographical uh, ceremony, like they don't care where it's at, you know what I mean? Like the, the city is like the second or third important thing. They're gonna put on whatever they want, whatever they think makes sense. Marlon Wayans was just talking about how they brought Michael Jackson out in 92 because the year before about a third of the black audience turned the channel because they got tired of watching Bruce Springsteen or whatever, you know? So they're gonna try to bring in somebody that's white hot at the time that crosses all barriers. And that's Kendrick. It's crazy because Kendrick, and I'm not the biggest like K dot supporter. I'm not waving pom poms. I I, I, I like his some of his stuff, but I mean, people is like taking away from his moment to talk about this. You know what I mean? Like you got Nicki Minaj out here calling, and it's mostly people who don't who don't like Jay and Rock Nation. Uh, not surprised Cam and Mace. You know, come on, like you surprised they said something. Like, you know what I mean? No one who said anything. Like, I know Juvie was in his car with water in his eyes. Like, a little bit. It was a little bit over, overdone. But it says a lot. It took Wayne five days to respond. I don't care what anybody says. People be in denial like a mug, man. Rich homie Quan just died. And he looked normal just a few weeks ago. When he, but he is on document. He admitted to you that he was a, a pill user for many years. So when he dies... Why is it all these conspiracies? Oh, this happened, that happened. Someone took him out. No, it's right in front of you. <laughs> like these rappers are rapping and telling you about their drug lifestyle, and y'all don't even y'all let goes. I don't know how y'all listen to it and don't identify it. It's right there. I mean, you don't see the the physical decline in Lil Wayne over the last decade. If you don't, something is wrong with your eyes. Go get them checked. I got really good vision. Did you not see him on uh, Undisputed with them fat chipmunk cheeks? And people was giving him dental excuses? Come on, man. That's, that is not normal. You know what I mean? Your dread, your, your appearance, your whole... Everything looks like it's falling apart. There's clips of his performances from other recent um, performances out there where you could see him gasping for air. He's forgetting his lyrics. His voice is breaking up. I'm just being real. And he, a lot of the fans don't want to... They want to overlook all of that. And I'm like, I get it. He's got a great mixtape... Uh, you know, cut a catalog, and I'm not disputing none of that. But it's right in front of you. If you don't see the decline in the man's health over the past decade, I don't know what you're watching. It's pretty obvious. I mean, it took he said it himself. I mean, the live is longer than that, longer than this clip, but it took him a few days just to to get right. I'm like, well, you better get right when you start doing that show with Skip, <laughs> Skip Bayless. But you know, you clearly and now Skip doesn't care about the decline. He probably ain't been following Wayne that much that long as we have. But you can see it. So, I mean, and then you, now you got other people coming up, coming out for him. And um, Nicki Minaj and Stephen A. Smith. And uh, Nicki Minaj was calling out Shannon Sharp. She called Stephen A. Shannon Sharp by mistake. She, and people said she was doing cocaine on Twitter. And uh, Shannon Sharp uh, had his little response right here. 
quiet when you talking about him like that, Nicki Minaj. What the hell was that? What's that about? Respectfully, that's some bullshit. It really, really is. That's just beyond the pale. Masterpiece open letter, no harm, no foul. Lil Wayne's your man. You're a New Orleans native. He's a New Orleans native. I get that part. You think he should have been there? I happen to know he was on the list. I happen to know he was given consideration. But Kendrick Lamar is arguably the hottest thing out right now. Not like us. That single, man. I mean, everybody going, everybody going off about that. She was off the chain. We got to call it what it is. Now, it wasn't, it wasn't great for Drake. But Drake is still big time. He still got his followers. He still got people that love the hell out of him because he's phenomenal. He's fantastic. Ain't nobody here trying to throw no shade on Drake. But Kendrick Lamar right now is that dude. Right now he's that dude. And why is that relevant? Because I want to put up this full screen for past performers at the Super Bowls dating back all of these years. Dating back to like 2010. Y'all need to see that. Oh, yeah. But, um, you know, like I said, give, let Kendrick do his thing. You know, you can always bring somebody out there from New Orleans. And like I say, you cry babies. But like I say, it's, just, it's a lot of entitlement. It was entitlement from Wayne's behalf. And anyone who thought he should just have it just because it's New, New Orleans. I'm like, bro, that, that's the face they, case. They could do that every year. But, who's, but that's not how it works. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at a point where I remember when they didn't have rappers on there. So... I'm not really being picky about we went from not having no rappers at the Super Bowl to now we being extra picky and we, you know, demon war on Jay Z over it. It's not that serious. We got a lot more serious shit to talk about. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit the like button for the algorithm. I'm out. Bye.